All right, guys, today we have a full direct comparison between MXGP 2021 and MXGP 2020. The first part here, you did see the font for the name is exactly the same for both. And for the number font, it's pretty much the same. I think each game had one different font style, but it was the same. Here we have the the rider customization. It's the same. Okay, I think 2021 had a handful of different sets of gear. And so it isn't lined up perfect, but um, it was pretty close. Uh, like I said, the, the way the gear was set up and how it was in the, the customization wasn't lined up exactly the same. So it was a, a little bit different, but for the most part, you can see even if it isn't perfect, it's basically the same. Even the HUD, uh, not the HUD, well, the HUD, but the menus are pretty much the same from last year to this year. So, so I know I mentioned it in the review, but I wanted to show you so you could actually see it wasn't just me saying it. It, it is pretty similar, but with some small differences in 2021 having a, a few different sets of gear, but pretty much the same. And I wanted to show you the track editor in both games because they're the same. Orchard, Plain, Woods, Quarry. Orchard, Plain, Woods, Quarry. The difference is the preview picture. That's it. It's the same. Here is the top-down view of the orchard. And then I show you the elevation. So you can easily see where it is. And then we switch over. 2020, same map. Exact. The trees, everything is the same. The elevation is in, in the same place. This is the plane. And there isn't any elevation. But I showed you anyways. 2020 plane map same exact same map every map is the same so as far as i can tell i show you all four of them here but as far as i can tell nothing is different in the track editor it's all the same it is a direct copy and paste from last year it's a tiny bit disappointing i mentioned it in the review already but it's the same, nothing different. And I do show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the pieces the track editor has, and they're the same. They're exactly the same. There isn't any more pieces or less pieces from the year before. Exact same pieces. The only, the only visible difference I can see is the background of the menu. <laughs> That's it. It's, uh... It's disappointing. It really is. It is. So if anybody tells you the track editor has new features or whatever, that's not true. It's a flat out lie. That is not true. The track editor is identical from last year. Not one thing different. It isn't easier to use. It doesn't have different pieces. The maps are the same. Just the menu. Everything is the same nothing different so i wanted to show you because i saw some people saying that it was different from last year it isn't it 100 percent isn't unless you count the background of the menu being a different color then i suppose you could say the track editor has something new For this part, I just wanted to show you a comparison from graphics from one track in 2020 to the same track in 2021. This is 2021, and this would be 2020. The graphics are a bit different. I wouldn't say one is better than the other, but 2020, it's darker. The colors appear to be a bit more rich, maybe. And then in 2021, the colors are lighter. I don't know. I wouldn't say one is better 
than the other, but I don't know. I think I prefer 2020, but I can see where people prefer the graphics of 2021. Um, I don't know. Maybe 2021 looks more realistic. It's, it's just brighter, but I don't know. Just I was surprised. I, di I didn't really think there would be there would be as big of a difference here as there as there is. And to wrap up the video, this is the side-by-side -side gameplay comparison between 2021 and 2020. This is uh, Belgium, and the track is different. Um, the layout in 2020 was a bit different than 2021. Funny thing, if you watch the end, the, the track, the time around the track is about the same in the game. So, kind of cool, but yeah, I think... Graphically, I feel like the track looks better in 2021. The track has more of the inside berms to hit, and it just has a rougher feeling to it overall. But I don't know. I still prefer the way 2020 plays, and I know some people have said that they don't feel that way, which is great. If you're enjoying the game, good for you. Have fun with it. I'm happy for you, but... For me, in my opinion, I preferred 2020, but you can see the gameplay is pretty similar. I mean, it's minor adjustments from last year, but it was enough to make me feel like I preferred 2020. And I talked about all this in the review, so if you're just seeing this video and you want to know more opinions, make sure to check out the review. Uh, I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side direct comparison of the game. Uh, a full comparison. The only thing I didn't really show you was the bikes, which are pretty much the same. Um, they just have the bikes they should have in the game and the career. And I didn't really know how to compare the career and the compound, but the compound is new. We talked about that already. So just the, the easy stuff to compare here. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.